Uh, welcome to what will probably be a pretty quick video. Um, yeah, Rubicon resin models have very <laughs> little details on them on the internet. It's so hard to find out what's in them. So I figured I'd make a uh, an unboxing for the uh, the Hotchkiss H39. It's got two options. Uh, yeah, the box doesn't come with like any sticky tape or anything. So that's that's the inside of the box. I'm assuming that's the tank. Yeah, we've got our decal sheet. Here's the instructions, which also, I mean, Rubicon normally have all their instructions posted online. But uh, I couldn't find the Hotchkiss ones. So, there's a handful of parts, spare wheel. Is it just one? It feels like it's just one sheet, but that doesn't look like instruction number one. Maybe, yeah, okay, that must just be the, the only instruction. There you go. Let's have a look at the inside of the kit. Here's the decal sheet. Got a handful of names there. Lots of French flags. License plates, which I assume must go for the Citroën. Because I think this is the same decal sheet you get in the Citroën car. Cool. And then the tank itself, still in here. Let's have a look at uh, the details. Now this video is probably going up live before... Uh, <laughs> Before the video that has the other Hotchkiss tank I own in it, that, uh, that kit is an amazingly detailed kit. Uh, and the resin is just... I mean, look at this. This is, this is plastic. Like, it's not plastic, it is resin, but like the level of detail here, this is what you expect from plastic kits. And uh, Rubicon is putting this out in resin, which makes me look at manufacturers <laughs> who are just as big and do, you know, the good old hunks of resin that are, you know, pretty crap. Like, the details here are just insane. I don't... Is there a little bit of bend to that track? A little bit. Just tiny amount of bend. But, uh, yeah, look at that. That's... That's amazing, this level of detail. I wouldn't be surprised if the hatch can open and close with those little holes there. It's pretty, uh, yeah, pretty good. Apologies for the beep there that's probably <laughs> jumped up on your notifications. Yeah, there you go. There's the Hotchkiss tank. So, here's the H39. It's uh, looking all good put together. Uh, everything was super crisp, and I mean, everything just snap fit. I mean, other than this bottom plate, the hatch, and the gun, you could probably even just snap fit without glue. I mean, I put glue on anyway. Um, but yeah, what I'm doing now is putting some Verfahren Viersig on the side. And so I thought I'd show uh, what I've done uh, so that it's... Oh, if it'll focus, so that it's... Yeah, it's not too difficult to to do. Uh, you can see I've got a little bit of cleaning up to do. Um, but, by cutting, uh, if, I, if I grab the, the sprue here that comes in the Stuka Zulfus kit, which I have here. Uh, so, with that frame, if you cut uh, the rear most of the launchers off, I believe it was the rear most I cut off, I think so, I'll check it when I put the other one on. Pretty sure it was the rearmost one. Anyway, you cut that one off. Yeah, it has to be the rearmost one looking at it now, the way that it's set up. Yeah. You cut it off, and uh, then these the frustrating thing are these little triangles on the sprue. I had to get rid of them with the clippers, and you can kind of see in some places I snapped it and had to glue it back on, because I need those things to connect to the main frame of the tank. The little hook here fits nicely in there. And that will glue nicely onto the road wheels there. In real life, there was probably a couple of centimetres of separation or whatnot, or millimetres even, who knows. Um, but yeah, and then you just build the Stuka Zufus as it was done normally. And uh, that gets you a H39 with a Stuka Zufus. Yeah, so here's the one that Addy Bailey, Lost Patrol Miniatures, he's painted up. Uh, yeah, it just looks fan fantastic it's an amazing kit i'm really in love especially with the, the detailing of the the hotchkiss badge on the front i mean i have the warlord 
Sumwa 35 here because um, I plan on making a DLM platoon to assist my BEF. And like the Sumwa badge on the front of the Warlord kit, it's just blank, right? And the, the Warlord R35, I haven't seen their H39, but their R35, which is very similar, is just just bad, really. Like, I mean, <laughs> look at look at the difference. If I put the two resin kits next to each other, like, look at the difference there. It's it's light years, yeah. So definitely recommend the Hotchkiss from uh, Warlord Games. Uh, sorry, Warlord Games. <laughs> Rubicon Models. Amazing kit. Two of them here. One painted by Addy Bailey from Lost Patrol Miniatures. The other one I've just about halfway through a conversion on. Amazing kits. The turrets go in nicely. If I can pull this one's turret out. Yeah, they just got the nice little clips. Great kit. Can't recommend enough.